I'm Patrick Simon, Director of Culinary Operations, Corporate Executive Chef for the Culinary Academy here in Las Vegas. And today I'm going to show you how to, to fry redfish. So what we're going to do to start with is get yourself some nice fillets of redfish, which I have right here. And you're going to make some components, put some components together. The first thing you're going to do is take some all-purpose flour, about three cups. You're going to take some granulated garlic, about a tablespoon, one tablespoon of onion powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper, just about a teaspoon. You don't want it too hot. If you want it a little hotter, you can make it a little, little hotter for you. And then I love to use smoked paprika. It's one of my favorite ingredients to go along with fish. And then what we're going to do is just take all of it and mix it together. After it's mixed together, we're going to now take the redfish and we're going to score the back of it. We're going to leave the skin on because it has a nice flavor, a nice appearance. So all I'm going to do is take a knife and just run two little slits in the back on both pieces of my fish. And then I'm going to bread it. So all I'm going to do is drop it inside my breading mixture. Pat it off a little bit. You want to get all the excess off. Now just before I'm about to put it inside some hot oil, I'm just going to put just a little bit of salt and pepper over the top. And then I'm going to take it and start to fry it. Now when I fry it, I'm going to put it in so about six cups of vegetable oil that I'm going to have on the stove. Five to six minutes to be able to fry the fish. Once you pull it out, you could serve it with some french fries, some red fish right on top that we fried, some lemon wedges, and if you like tartar sauce, you can serve the tartar sauce along with it. Now, I'm going to garnish that with some fresh herb. and a nice bright orchid. I'm Patrick Simon, and I just showed you how to cook and fry redfish. Mm -hmm.